Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are painting this rose and I will give you some tips and tricks how to really paint it. It's this brown color. You see they're very light brown. Um, and then if you add some, you mix that and some pink, you will get that muted tone. I don't know if you're sleeping there, but <laughs> there's a little bit pink. I filmed yesterday some of the clips I was painting this rose and um, yeah, it totally failed as you <laughs> see, it looks so weird. This is my first ever rose that I painted uh, and it was that mm, realistic style and I was so proud of this one and it took me hours to paint. If it takes some time when you are painting, don't be scared because if you want to paint something very beautiful, it really can take some time, but but it's worth it and you will be happy how your painting look. Here you see some supplies you will need and I used and the colors for that rose, that pink color. And I start to draw this like I'm just figuring out where I'm going to draw it and paint it, of course, too. And I'm starting to draw or sketch this pretty random shape petals. And also, if you want to look some example when painting, you can check out some pictures from internet, but coping is not good. Just for you know, just that you know what is the shape of the rose. But yeah, it's good to have some example how to sketch or draw or paint. Can't, you can't know everything. I personally look many times some pictures to, to figure out how to draw something or how to paint. And that's been said, I can make a different video or another video how to sketch this rose or, or roses. Then we can mix some red and brown color together and as you see I'm using quite a lot of water and I'm sorry that paper was very hairy, <laughs> we have a dog so yeah. But um, start to paint with very light shade of color and here you saw that I painted with the shade but then I'm starting to spread that color like near the tip of the petal. You can paint with lighter shade of color and then when it's still wet you can add some darker shade so it like bleeds there very, very nicely. If it's too dry already you can just use damp rust and blend it on that petal so it looks more natural and good. And you see that I used pretty dark shade of color there on couple of places and I use that because there are of course places where places on everything <laughs> where the light won't touch so much. So yeah. And when you have done those or when you are done painting those petals you can start to paint stems and use this pretty light shade of green and brown mix. And of course, we are not ready with this rose or those petals, but you have to wait for them to dry so you can start to paint them again. And here I was painting also these leaves that, that are growing like there where the petals or rose, the actual rose, star, rose starts to grow. Uh, here I used some darker shade and of course then and then when you want to have that darker shade you need to use less water 
and when it's when it's still wet you can like you can blend it with damp brush and continuing that blending to the tip of the petal and here i was adding pretty dark shade but you can see that how i use that brush to blend it and get the color more light and there i was also using like with the bigger petal i was using more water so you might need sometimes a little bit more water you can practice this technique on other paper too so you won't miss your flower if the like you can always practice before painting the actual actual work artwork artwork or painting just adding some darker color this is more like brown color there's not much of red color mixing mixed to that brown when it comes to middle part middle part of the rose you can paint a little bit like very tiny spots on the middle with the darker shade and in this case it's most likely brown color and then blend it like from the middle to the tip of the petals almost <laughs> and then just adding some darker shades uh, here and there so that rose really pops out you know it looks more like 3d you know more real and not just oh yeah you get that get that 3d effect yeah that's what i was like searching <laughs> mm, but yeah if you have painted with wheat too dark shade you can just use paper towel and take it off like pressing on you can press it on that color and you see i'm again painting this stem and i was just painting with darker shade of that green brown color mix and also when it was a little bit more dry i added some lines here and there so they are pretty pretty sharp lines and after that i just came again to the flower part or the actual flower and added some darker shades with also with that wet on wet technique and when it comes to leaves you don't have to work like too much with them you can just use a couple of strokes using the tip of the brush and pressing it quite a bit to get that leaf with the perfect like that end that is very thin but the middle part is pretty full the the start and the end of the petal of the <laughs> of the leaf is pretty thin and sharp and when i'm adding some color here and there i add some contrast so it is good to have some contrast on your painting if you want of course you can paint with lighter shades too and when it comes to leaves i just painted another layer but way darker shade layer and then i just added some darker spots here and there and after those leaves are dry dried then you can add with the tip of the tip of the brush some lines also known as veins <laughs> on those leaves and yeah i know my brush is not in good condition it's old 
and it was very cheap so yeah and I didn't know how to like protect those brushes or how to take care of them. Paint with the darker shade. There where the fold point is you can add that darker shade and blend it with damp brush. But don't work it too much, so there's left some color. <laughs> so don't don't blend it too much, so you can actually see that there is shading. And add those shadings here and there where you want. You don't have to paint them all around the rose, but if you want, you can get that more realistic style, of course, when you have more of shadings. But yeah, that's ready. Yeah, almost. <laughs> Some little touch-ups, but it's kind of ready now. <laughs>